Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today, it is Friday, the 22nd of January, but you'll get to see this video probably on the Sunday. Possibly even the Monday, I'm not sure. It depends when I'll upload and edit it. I have got quite a lot of stuff to edit and go through. So you can see the Golden Mile news links. I've just had a nice prom walk for my daily exercise and I've walked round and got my food shopping you can see there from Home Foods and a bit from Sainsbury's, my shops of choice so now I'm on my way home It's a lovely afternoon It's not even that cold I'm walking home via the farm on the Golden Mile so we can walk past Chapel Street and give you folks an update if there's any work going on there today. The last couple of times when I filmed there, there wasn't really anything going on. But the last time I filmed there, it was raining quite a lot. So I walked down there during storm pissed off. So people aren't going to walk, work in the rain. Got all these kiosks down here all closed. From where I'm standing here, there doesn't appear to be anything going on on the street coming out of sight. But we'll know for sure as I walk past. I did have a lovely walk on the beach earlier, but you've probably seen those vlogs by now because they'll be uploaded before this one. So I don't always upload things on the day I film them and I don't always upload things in the order I film them. Like I did film my promenade walk and upload that chronologically of course but sometimes I might upload one video before the other one. Even if I filmed the previous one later than that one, if that makes sense. A few cars and vans parked in there. But, oh, there are some people on the site. Oh, looks like they're actually doing the work today, folks. I can hear machinery noise. I'm not sure if they're actually pumping the concrete today. The sign does say that this road is going to be closed for well, eight to nine weeks initially, so it's going to take that long to do this job. So I'd imagine they've got to take it pretty slowly. They won't be able to just flood the underground subway with masses of concrete. Sorry? Are you filming that vlog? I'm all, I'm like a 31. Yeah. Thought <laughs> <laughs> for someone else. Oh well, there are a lot of us now that do these vlogs. So people probably get us mixed up with each other. There you go, so there are people on site. The site's been prepared. Take a look around there, there's machinery on, but not a lot of other stuff going on. I will walk around the thing. Nine 
weeks from the 11th of this month. So that sign says eight weeks. So it's going to be eight or nine weeks. I wish it was more of a hill. I wish I could somehow put my camera down in the underground subway and show you what's going on. But sadly a cart. That's a good view of the buildings there and the tower and the work going on. And there you have it. That is the Chapel Street update. So they are doing work on there now. But there's not a lot I can film still. So we've got two-way traffic still going, that little bit on the front side, northbound, is one lane for that bit. But other than that, there's no control, there's no temporary lights, there's no delays. Besides the promenade looks really quiet. Waffles. Who doesn't like waffles? I don't think it's a person on the planet who doesn't like waffles. Handmade ice cream, donuts, Mr. Whippy, and there you've got the fish and chips again there. chips on the farm for years, literally for years. And if I usually get fish and chips, I normally get them from the Grasmere. That's a little chippy on the corner of Grasmere Road, in it Westmoreland Avenue. Been there years and years. Many years ago it used to be called the Grasmere Super Bar or the Grasmere Super Rooms. And you could go in there and you could sit there and eat them. Because the back bit was a little dining area. So yeah, if I have fish and chips now, I usually just go to the gas meal because they do a mini fish and chips. And the mini fish and chips they do, you get, I think it's £3.70, I'm not sure. And you get a fish and chips and curry sauce or peas it's a, and it's sold as a mini meal but really it's just a decent size ordinary meal it's a nice size portion all that work going on there hopefully all these places will all be open up in the summer What I go to on the way home. Sea fresh, Blackpool's finest traditional fish and chips. I have eaten in there occasionally when I've been doing a vlog. I would get a cone of chips on the way home just to really eat something and warm my fingers up. And the chips were delicious. I've not really eaten anything else, but yeah, 
the chips are really really nice and not everybody does nice chips you know so I'm just going to walk down here this is Princess Street the cosy cup there that is Dale Street the Lindale Cafe there's lots of people who come into my vlogs and they say how nice the food is in there they all say you should go in the Lindale they do a good breakfast and the food's really good and apparently the staff are awesome as well so yeah And there is another little cafe around there, corner of Yorkshire Street. And that is also apparently awesome as well. This is the other side of the Foxhall Village development. In my first vlog today, when I was walking towards the prom on Ridge Road, I showed you the other side of this. So now we're seeing it from the opposite end. Well folks, I've just looked at the time on this video and also the fact that my battery's flashing. So I am going to end this one now. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and leave me a comment. And maybe even subscribe too. And I shall see you all very soon in the next vlog. Goodbye.